far have you moved it? No more than a couple of feet. As soon as I unearth the skull, I stop straight away. How much longer are you going to hold us up? I want to lay a drain along here by tomorrow night. Did you say this was the back gardens of some of those terraced houses? Yes. Uh, there was a greenhouse here or something. Where the hell has he got to? Perhaps you should just go ahead and charge the boy. How can I do that? That's Bob's wife in there. How am I going to do that? You tell me. Go on. How's Bob? Just leave it, will you? OK, I only asked. He's my sergeant. Oh, Has he been charged yet? No. Sierra Oscar, this is 9-2. Are you receiving? Could have been one of the other guys. He's all the police, you know. And then again, there might not be. Yeah, hello, Robin. Can you get someone from CID over to the William Street demolition? What site? do you want me to do? Get on with someone else? But look, tell them that it's the body. I don't want to be standing around here all day. Hey, what now? Don't touch me. Leave it exactly as it is. Now, listen here, chum. This company's on a penalty clause as it is. I mean, any more hold-ups, we'll lose thousands. This project's well behind. Not my problem. Are you telling me that Cryer's wife, son and solicitor have been sitting in the charge room for three quarters of an hour? Yes. Well, charge the kid. I am not putting anybody on the sheet until Bob gets here. You just can't do it, sir. Well, where is Cryer, eh? Where is he? He should be on his way. Sir. Is the charge sheet filled out yet? I'll go and check. No more excuses. Just get a move on, and that's an order. Excuse me, sir. Gov! Gov! What? A few more minutes, just out of courtesy. Look, I've arranged Bob's duty so he could be available. He obviously doesn't want to be present when his kid's charged. And I'm not waiting any longer. Sir, Cry's been on the air. He wants someone from CID urgently. How can you justify holding up work over a couple of bones? It's not up to me. This is bloody stupid. Look, that could be a murder. I don't know. Now give it a rest. I wish in hell's name I never called you like in the first place. Excuse me. Is this the body? I've made friends. We heard you on the air calling for CID. Bit late for the kiss to lie. Martella, will you get out of there? Right, Sarge, I was only having a look. Look, Bob, I know how you must feel, but you must be there when Patrick is charged. Martella, make sure no one goes near that body, especially female officers of any rank. I've never seen him like that before. What's all this about? We're back on shift in a couple of hours. Couldn't it wait? Those tickets you sold me for last night. Yeah. Yeah, well, about 50 other people had tickets for the same seats. You're kidding. They're forgeries, Ramsey. You've got to be joking. It's 20 quid you owe me. Listen, Tev, on my mother's life, I bought them straight. Oh, yeah. From a man in a pub, was it? Well, as it happens, yes. So? Well, what are you going to do about it? Come with me, we'll sort this no, out. No, 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 I don't have to come with you. Just give me the money. Listen, Tev, what kind of name am I going to have round my nick? This geezer's not done me. He's done both of us. Come on. See you then. I told you not to move it. You've got to be joking, pal. I can't leave this thing standing idle all day. Get out of the cab before I nick you.
So these are the offices of a theatrical ticket agency, are they? One of Albert's many branches. What do you want, Ramsey? I want a word with you. Would someone book out a pool car oh. to take Mrs. Cryer and son home? Why won't we take them home? Oh, I'm going back out on the streets then. <sighs> Hold your horses, Tom. Look, I can arrange to have somebody take over your tour of duty, you know. No, thank you, sir. But he's your son, for God's Just sake. Just leave it, will you? Moment of your time, Sergeant. What do you know about those? I told you to come to me if you wanted tickets. <laughs> Why you deal with these street corner blokes, I do not know. <laughs> Hello? Arm and leg prices. Hello. You've got to be kidding, Albert. Phantom or Lesmes? Phantom? Broadway or West End? Broadway? Went four. Mm-hmm. Stores or balcony? Balcony. No problem. He's joking, isn't he? Sid, do not bore me. You cannot get them any cheaper. That telephone number in the personal column of the Times is one of mine. No, he's not. Look, do you want them or not? Right. Well, bring a grant to the Roses tomorrow lunchtime. Oh, I ask your hospitality suite. They'll be wanting a final Concord next. Hello? Albert. Set the court. Final. I want some answers. Listen. Chris Everett gets the tickets for me, so what chance do you stand, mate? <laughs> what is this, Ramsey? I told you I want some answers. All right, what do you want? A name. You know what you are, don't you? Where can I find him? Look, as if my business isn't difficult enough without jokers like you. I'm losing patience. All right. 30, 35... Blonde hair, rides about in a BMW, right? That's the one. Sit yourself. I'd rather stand if you don't mind, sir. As you wish. Now then, Bob. Unofficially, you and me. How long is this going to go on for? What's that, sir? Patrick. Turning your back on it, giving it the cold shoulder. What is it you can't cope with, can't come to terms with? Begging your pardon, sir, but that is none of your business. No. You know as well as I do that more than anything else, a man's domestic situation determines his on-duty performance. Are you suggesting, sir, that my work is in any way... No, damn it. I'm asking what, why. Tell me. My son has been charged with a criminal offence, which has resulted in a young person's death, sir. But no crime was intended, for God's sake. I don't think that would be any consolation to the girl's parents, do you, sir? And it doesn't excuse my son. Bob, your son is guilty, if anything, of being young and headstrong. And maybe willful. A combination which, not for the first time, has resulted in tragedy. Now, why are you making so much more of it? Because it's Bob Cryer's son. As I said, sir, with respect, this is none of your business. Agreed. True. It's your business, so attend to it. It's your problem, so deal with it. In my own way, sir, in my own time. The way is with a little understanding, and the time is right now. I've just been talking to one of my directors. I've got to get this sorted out now. I'm sorry. I understand your difficulties. There's nothing I can do. Well, can't we come to some arrangement? Forget it. I think he's trying to bribe you, Mike. Wouldn't be surprised. One of his drivers just tried to run me down. That was an accident. Accident or not, nothing moved, so forget it. Thanks, sir. <coughs> I'm sorry, Shirley. There's no point prolonging the agony any longer. I've had a chat with him, but... Well, you know the man better than I do. Oh, yes, I know the man. Or is it I thought I knew him? Well, give him time. That's all he needs. You think we don't need time? We need his time. Time to talk. Time to... Thank you. You'd be very good. We're grateful. There's no trouble. If I can help, in any way. Not 
Ted. Done the dirty on Cross, son, yeah? Oh, I'll leave it out. It's bad enough as it is. How'd he take it? How do you think you'd take it? You know Dash was done with the demolition site. What's the latest on that? Well, I went into the soccer to have a look at the remains. I want to call in an archaeologist from the museum to go down there. Yeah? Well, you can have a look at some of my staff while he's at it. <laughs> tickets and his motors parked outside a back street printers. What you gonna do then, Ramsey? Well, I'm gonna go and see the brains of the department. So what's the verdict? He's getting on a bit. Hey. You don't have to be an expert to see that. How long do you reckon he's been down there? Mm, don't know. Listen, why don't you just put all the bones into a plastic bag and go and play with them somewhere else? I can't do that. Well, why not, for Christ's sake? Foul play. A blunt instrument. Well, that could have been done by anything. Could have been done by the digger. You can't do this to me. I'm going to get this plant moving one way or the other. Believe me. Thank you. You needed that. Anything to oblige? What now? Professor Watkins will be here soon. Then somebody will have to make a decision as to what to do. Depending on his analysis, i.e. how old the bones are. I'm not taking you off the cryer case, and that's final. I think I'm too personally involved. I don't give a damn. It's better you do it than some uniform clown. What do you want? Got a nice little turnover lined up, Gov. What is it? Forged theatre tickets, that kind of thing. Where? Castro Grove, back of Parish Way. They're all sweatshops down there. Not this one. How reliable is the information? Teddy. Spot on. Oh. Where'd you get it? Where? Detection works, sir. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. You couldn't detect a fart in our water bottle. Mike's in trouble. What, down the side? Yeah, it doesn't look too clever. Well, what about our turnover? It can wait, can't it? So what you got to do now, Ramsey? <laughs> the site after I told him not to. Where's the site manager? Oh, he conveniently disappeared when all this started. Yeah, well, I'm nicking him and all the others for obstruction, perverting the course of justice, and anything else I can think of. It's not a murder inquiry, Joe. I thought you had remains. What we got is a load of bones that are at least 300 years old. You go and talk to the Socco. She's over there. What's all the fuss about it? The site manager got a bit naughty. We played him along. I told him it was probably a murder and he couldn't take the dumper or the digger off the site until I said so. I said it might take a couple of weeks. Well, we had to wait for Professor Watkins to make an examination. Well, where is Watkins? Hasn't shown up yet. So the site manager sends in a couple of heavies to take the plant out by force. We tried to stop him and the whole thing got out of hand. You're a burp, Michael. And you're not interested, right? No, thanks a lot, pal. That's the fifth phone call you've made. Who didn't want to help this time? 
some wally on the funny money squad. Thanks for your interest, but we're involved in a big forged American dollars scam at the moment. Don't give a toss about our information. Oi! Do you mind? I thought you two were on a split shift. Yeah, back on at two. Oi, Carver. Do you think the fraud squad would be interested in forged theatre tickets? <laughs> Doubt it. See what I mean? I don't suppose you'd be interested, would you? No. Well, looks like we'll just have to do it ourselves then, won't we? You better stay here, Michael, just in case. Oh, come on, go. I'll come back. Who's this? Barn for site manager. Oh, the one we've had all the aggravation with. That's him. It was a mistake. You, mister, are in big trouble. The, the lads felt that they were going to be laid off if the plant lay idle. We should be nicked. No, you don't understand. Uh, if we had another penalty for late completion, the company would fold. Good. You deserve to lose the job. I'll tell you what I'll do. Your men will be charged with obstruction. Then I'll bail them, and they can come back here and start work. Okay. You mean I can get the plant working again? They go to court in the morning and plead guilty, right? Anything you say. And next time a copper tells you not to do something, you don't do it. You got that. Whatever you say. I'm too soft. Do you know that? Look over that place. Oh, yeah? Got a warrant, have you? I said look over that place, not turn it over. Mind you, we did find a window open. It would be our bounden duty to look around, check that everything was secure. If you stick your neck out any further, you'll end up looking like a giraffe. Hey, boy, come on. of the opera. Well, maybe it was the wrong number. I'd better get on with it, I suppose. What's that? Patrick Cry's case plans? Yeah. Got no heart for it, though. Listen, when this goes to court, I don't want any allegations we went easy on him because he's a copper's son. Come off it. No, I'm telling you, Ted. Now, wrap it up nice and tidy. Cryer wouldn't want it any other way. I need to talk behind my back. What did you say? You heard. Leave it out. Now you listen to me, Bob. I don't talk behind anybody's back. If I've got something to say, I'll say it straight. Straight? Well, that's good coming from you. Cut it out, you two, will you? I think it's time you heard some home truths. No, 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 go on. Let him have his say. There are hundreds you... of people out there whose sons get nicked every day of the week. Now, they don't go around performing like you. Treating their families like something they picked up off the bottom of their shoe. All right. So you think Patrick's let you down. So what? He's your son. Have you finished? What's more important to you, Bob? What your colleagues think? Or the welfare of your family? I think you've said enough. He's right, Bob. You know he's right. Why don't you go home, eh? Your kid will need your help and support, Mum. Well, if not for him, what about your missus? She must be gone through hell. Ted! Yeah? Come on, we've got to go. Think about it, Bob. It's going to ruin your life. Evidence, Taff. What we need are the arc lights. What is it? Oh, 
I'm Chief Inspector Waltham, Counterfeit Currency Squad. This is Agent Peter Schwartz acting on behalf of the US Treasury. And you are... P.C. Edwards, Sun Hill, sir. Ramsey. Wrong. You're the assholes who just blew part two of the biggest Anglo-American counterfeit operation ever mounted. Three months surveillance down the tubes. Congratulations. What now, sir? My instinct is to bury the pair of you, but you aren't worth the paperwork. So what you do is... you leg it before I have time to think twice. So what's all this? The Great Plague. The what? The Great Plague. Swept through London in 1665 like a dose of salts. This is one of the pits they used to bury them in? According to Professor Watkins, this particular site may be of some historical interest. What do you mean, historical interest? There must be hundreds of them all over London. Oh, apparently not like this one. Which means the Professor may have to slap a court injunction on Barnes' company. What? To stop him digging it up? Oh, dear. Shall I tell Barnes, or do you want the pleasure? Sure. It's me. Is Patrick there? Patrick? I uh, thought we ought to have a talk. 